Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. Got a note from eBarbers to check this story out from KIRO. It's on a bunch of stories lately from Cairo 7. City of Bellevue and school. Vote to pay family $5 million over a landslide that destroyed a home in 2022. The home was destroyed by a landslide. And it turns out that the city and a school are going to pay $5 million to the family whose home was so destroyed. They've authorized a combined $5 million settlement to the family, and the home was destroyed in a landslide. The Bellevue City Council voted to approve the settlement at Monday night's meeting. The city of Bellevue will cough up $3 million. The school will pay $2 million. And I suspect there might be insurance involved on some of that. But back in January of last year, a water main break knocked this couple's home off its foundation in the neighborhood of Somerset. That led to the evacuation of 42 other people in the neighborhood over fears that other houses may have been unstable. Now, an attorney for the couple said that the local school of the Sacred Heart had installed pipelines which were designed by a previous utility district, which the city of Bellevue now owns. He said the pipeline was not designed properly. They had loosely put one end of one pipe into the next pipe, and over time, they separated. And that's what caused the water to come out, liquefy the hillside, landslide, and destroyed their home. He said they were cutting corners, if you will, by engineers who designed this and did not design it with secure joints. And, of course, you do not want the hillside beneath your home to liquefy. So that's the ugly part. Following this disaster, the city sued the family to request the demolition of the collapsed home and to clean up the area to make the neighborhood safe. So, as you can imagine, their home gets wiped out by a landslide, and the city comes in and goes, um, guys, clean that mess up. Well, oh, how the tables have turned now, right? So in the weeks that followed, the family agreed to the demolition, and the city dropped their lawsuit. And then the couple filed their own lawsuit against the city, saying, oh, by the way, we think your guys are, are on the hook for this. So the couple had filed an amended lawsuit against the city and the Sacred Heart School. It was the city's pipe, and the city was responsible for that pipe for the past 50 years, ever since it was put in the ground, and our view of the city was the responsible party. The school probably made things worse by dumping loose fill on that hillside, which added pressure on that pipe, which accelerated the process of the pipe pulling apart. And that, of course, is the attorney speaking. And, you know, this is the kind of thing that will just really blow your mind. You think about your house, okay? Your house is sturdy. You, you know, if there's a storm outside, you run inside, right? You, your house is sturdy. <laughs> and then the earth beneath it just whoosh, landslides away. I don't know how you could recover from that mentally if you were around when that happened. It would mess with your perception of reality. So the city then turned around and sued the school. And that's not uncommon that you sue somebody and they sue somebody else going, well, it wasn't us or it wasn't entirely us. So you wind up with a couple defendants or counter defendants or cross defendants, whatever. The city's lawsuit alleged that the school had added non-structural fill on the hillside above the water main increasing pressure on the pipe and compromising the stability of the hillside. The school later filed a claim blaming the city for the damage. So they're fighting amongst themselves while the homeowners are suing both of them. That happens also. And I've had people ask me about, you know, all of the inspections that are done when you go to build something. You say, I want to build a home. Okay. You go apply for a building permit. Next thing you know, the county is out looking at your property. And you go, wait, the county? I filed a building application for a permit with the township. Why is the county out here? Next thing you know, there's somebody else out here. and Different entities are out here. And this is why. Because there were pipes underneath this property that belonged to one entity and were being messed with by another entity, allegedly. And the question is, who knows that stuff's down there? Well, people who know are the ones who oversee it. So it might be a drain commission, it might be a water commission, you know, who knows? So the city and the school also agreed to drop their competing claims against each other as a condition of the settlement. So it's good. The parties got together and said, look, we're going to pay them. We'll pay three, you pay two. How's that sound? KIRO7 spoke with the co-owner of the home where his family had lived for more than two decades about the settlement. He says, I felt better. I wish the city and the school had realized this two years ago. 
that they were responsible, didn't have to make us wait two years. He said this is what they've been asking for since the beginning. It hasn't been easy. Our whole life has been in that home. We raised four kids in that house. Everything we had was in that house and the memories too. And, you know, that's the thing. If you're watching this video at home right now, just look around. Just look around and go, what if all of this got lost in a landslide? So the couple spent hundreds of thousands of dollars in the past two years to try to resolve this issue. He said they've spent over half a million dollars for something we didn't do. We were minding our own business, and the city could have settled this a long time ago, but they are now. So he said he's not sure if he and his wife will rebuild in their current property or explore other locations. I would have such a hard time. I understand there might be emotional attachments to that property, but it'd be so difficult to try to sleep at night knowing that you've actually had a house in that spot slide out from underneath you. The man said his wife was sleeping inside the home when the mudslide knocked the house 20 feet off its foundation and destroyed the house. She thought it was an earthquake. My wife can't. She still can't go up the street. She can't even go up that street to see where the house used to be. She can't handle that. We're going to have to figure that out. Should we rebuild, sell? It's another decision we'll have to make moving forward. And by selling, you'd be selling the land, not the house, obviously. We're both in a state of trauma over the whole thing. It's a very strange feeling, but we're here and we're moving forward. He expressed his gratitude for those who have supported his loved one since the loss of the home. It's humbling, and they're still supporting us. So KIRO7 reached out to the city of Bellevue ahead of the council meeting to learn more about a settlement request in-person interview, but a spokesperson denying the request shared a statement, saying, We are thankful, first and foremost, that no one was hurt in the landslide that happened last year, and that the parties have been able to reach a resolution of the claims brought by the family. The settlement will go before the city council tonight for action. While the city still contends the slide occurred due to factors out of its control, this anticipated resolution reflects a negotiated outcome among the family, the city, and the school. Uh, Resolving this issue for the Bellevue family without further delay, and that's what they're intending to do. Meanwhile, the school said they've reached an agreement to resolve an ongoing lawsuit involving the city of Bellevue and the family. We are glad to have reached an agreement in this case so all parties can move forward. So that was short and sweet. But again, it started with... The wife's asleep, and the house slides off its foundation and goes 20 feet down the side of a hill. Turns out that the foundation of the house was resting on dirt that became unstable due to some defects in the pipes nearby, and so that destroyed the house. The first legal action was the city sued them to clean it up. So they cleaned it up, and then they sued the city, and the school got involved, and next thing you know, now they're getting $5 million dollars. But it's been a year and a half. They say they spent half a million on this. And now they're basically, yeah, they get a check, two checks. They get these checks. And what do they do? Do they rebuild on that spot? Do they sell that spot? Is that spot even worth anything right now? It might not be buildable. I don't know. I don't know. These are all wacky questions, but it's a crazy, crazy story. But it looks like it's ended at least legally. So again, City of Bellevue and the school Vote to pay a family $5 million over a landslide that destroyed a home back in 2022. Uh, that's from Cairo7, K-I-R-O. And E. Barber sent it to me. I don't know if E is the first initial and Barber's the last name or if it's some kind of prefix there on the name Barber. Either way, thank you very much. Questions or comments, put it below. I'll just talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Lato's Law. Happiness. The thing we want most in life is often achieved by giving it away.